Samantha. So today I'm coming to you with my August wrap up. Normally I combine my book hauls and wrap ups into one video, but this month I bought so many books that I'm like, you know, I'm just gonna separate them because otherwise that's gonna end up being like a 30 minute video and nobody wants that, especially not me because then I'd have to edit that and no thank you. I'd rather just do two separate videos. In the month of August, I managed to complete six books, which I think is pretty good considering the fact that I actually had kind of a busy month and I went on holiday a few times and they ended up being like, I didn't get as much time to read as I thought I would. So the first book that I read this month is one that I already mentioned in my July wrap up because it was combined with my biannual bibliothon wrap up. I read this book during that a readathon, but I didn't actually finish it till August. I'm just gonna mention it very briefly, and that is The Archived by Victoria Schwab. I wasn't the biggest fan of this book. I already have a written review of this up on Goodreads, so I'm not gonna talk about it any more than just saying that I enjoyed it. I gave it a 3.5 out of 5 stars, so clearly I didn't adore it, but it was still quite good. If you want full thoughts, I will link my review down below, and I'll also link down my July wrap up in case you want to hear the thoughts instead of reading them. This actually completed my TBR draw challenge, which for the month of August was to start a new series because I had not read The Archived before, and this is the first book in the archive so I started it. So that completes that challenge. So the next book that I read was To All the Boys I've Loved Before by Jenny Han. I really really enjoyed this book. If you don't know what this book is about, To All the Boys I've Loved Before is a book about this girl called Lara Jean and she's had crushes on a few guys and she claims that she's loved them but I mean I don't know if you can love someone when you're 12 but okay. So she's had crushes on these guys. Every time she gets over a crush she writes this letter about like all the things she liked about them and she even like addresses it to them and puts it in an envelope and then just doesn't send it though she just keeps them. It's kind of like her way of like getting over the crush. So she puts all of these letters addressed into a box and one day all of her letters get sent out. It's about the repercussions of that. It is so cute and so much fun. I really like Laura Jean as a character although I will say I did think that she was a little bit childish and I found this with both of the series I've read by Jenny Han that her characters do seem a bit childish for their age. In this book Laura Jean is 16. There are just certain things that just really make her seem a little bit childish to me. I still really really enjoy this book though. I gave this one a 4.5 out of 5 stars so it wasn't a full five stars because as I said I did find her to be a bit childish. The next book that I read was one that I read on my Kindle and that is The Distance Between Us by Casey West. I got this book on Kindle like three years ago when it was on sale for 19NP. I was like I've heard of Casey West. I'll add it to my basket. And I don't know why, but for some reason I didn't love this book. Like I was really in the mood for like a cute fluffy contemporary so I was like this is gonna be perfect. And then I read it and I was like that sucked. <laughs> I have written a review for this one as well, which I'll link down below. But if you don't know what this book is about, this book is about a girl called Cayman and a guy whose name I've forgotten. Cayman lives with her mother and they kind of have some money troubles. Cayman's mother was seeing this really rich guy and she got pregnant and then he kind of like left her to deal with the baby. So her mom's all like, yeah, no, I don't like rich people. And Cayman's mother owns a doll shop and Cayman works in this doll shop. So one day this boy whose name I've forgotten comes into the shop and things happen from there. But this guy's like super rich. So it's like a, oh no, it could never happen. There's so much distance between us. It was just not my favorite thing. I just, I don't know why, but I just couldn't connect with the characters at all. And I found them to just be a little bit annoying. So I only gave this one a 2.5 out of 5 stars. I will link my written review down below because I feel like I expressed my thoughts a little bit more clearly there. And I actually remember the characters' names. So yeah, I'll link that down below in case you want to read my thoughts. The next book that I read was a reread for me. And that was Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets by JK Rowling. I reread the first book in July for the biannual bibliothon. And I just had so much fun reading it that I was like, you know what? It's time for a reread of the series. So I listened to Chamber of Secrets on audiobook, which was a lot of fun. I love this book. If you don't know what Harry Potter is about, I don't, I, I can't help you. I gave this book a five out of five stars, obviously, because it's Harry Potter and I've rated almost every single one five stars. So this was my third time reading the book and I loved it. The next book that I read was P.S. I Still Love You by Jenny Han. This is the sequel to To All the Boys I've Loved Before. I can't talk about what this book is about because it's a sequel, but I really enjoyed this one. I also gave this one a 4.5 out of five stars rather than a five because I was a little bit annoyed throughout the book. I think my problem with this series is that I'm not a huge fan of the love interest. He's okay, but like, he wouldn't be my first choice if I were in Lara Jean's position. So I'm like, eh, I don't like, I'm not 100% in it. And I feel like that's why I haven't like adored these books. Like I know 4.5 is still quite a good rating, but there's just something holding me back from giving it that five. I think it's because I don't love the love interest. Again, Lara Jean was a bit childish in this book, but I feel like that's just a recurring theme with Jenny Han's characters that I'm just gonna find them a little bit childish. And I know you might be thinking like, Samantha, you're not 16. So how can you weigh in on this? But like, I'm only 18 and like, I very clearly remember remember being 16 and like I know that I wasn't that childish when I was 16 and I don't know anyone who 
who was. So, and the final book that I read in the month of August was Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban by J.K. Rowling. As I said, I'm rereading the series. I'm loving it so much. This is also my third time reading this book as well, and I can understand why so many people call this their favorite one in the series. It rivals my favorite ones. I don't know which one my favorite is, so like I feel like this is the reread where I'll be able to decide. But I don't know what it is about this book. I think it may be the combination of Lupin and Sirius and just the time turner situation that just makes this one so fun and magical. I don't know if it's my favorite in the series, but I do love it. And obviously I gave it five out of five stars. If you haven't read Harry Potter, do it, do it, just do it. Unless you don't like it, in which case, it pains me to say this, but that's okay. That's your opinion. So these were all the physical books that I read during the month of August. Let me know what you read during August down below. And if you've read any of the books I talked about, feel free to let me know your thoughts also down below in the comments. Before I go, I have one last thing which I need to do, which is to choose out of my TBR jar. If you don't know, I choose a monthly challenge out of my TBR jar, which is Mike from Monsters Inc. I choose a challenge and try and complete that challenge by reading a book that fits that challenge in the month. How many times can I say challenge? Read a historical fiction book. That is okay. I have a few historical fiction books floating around on my shelves at the moment. I have The Girls, which I've been planning to read, and also Salt to the Sea, which I'm dying to read. I'm going to be able to complete this one. I will. I'll do it. That is my challenge for September. I'm going to try and complete that before I go to uni, because I feel like once I go to uni, no reading is going to get done whatsoever. Anyway, that is going to all for today's video, so I hope you liked it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, feel free to subscribe down below. If you want to be notified whenever I post a new video, feel free to put on my notifications by clicking the bell icon, and then you'll get a little notification every time I post and then you'll be like oh she's posted who cares anyway that is going to be all for today's video so I will see you very soon with another one bye Cassie Casey Cayman her name's Cayman oh that's a spoiler never mind in the month of oh, I knew I said October Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Ask I thought I wrote the Prisoner of Chambers on there whoops <sighs> okay <laughs>